Unit 7, ArrayList, Topic 7.5, Searching. In this lesson, we will discuss how to access specific elements in an array and array list. There are standard algorithms for searching. There are two search algorithms you need to be familiar with, the linear or sequential search and the binary search. We will cover binary search in Unit 10. When searching for specific elements in an array or array list, what might you see in a searching algorithm? You will need a variable that stores the target value. You will need to traverse the array or array list. You will need to access an element within an array or array list. You will have to ask if the element equals equals or dot equals the target value. You will want to return negative one if the element is not found. Sequential or linear search algorithms check each element in order until the desired value is found or all the elements in the array or array list have been checked. Here is a visualization of a linear or sequential search that is looking for the target value of 37. Look at how to set up a sequential search for an array. Notice the boundary and condition. Look at how to set up a sequential search for an array list. Notice again the boundary and condition. When searching for a double value, we need to do an additional mathematical step to make sure that the value is close enough. Notice in the method header, we have an additional parameter called delta that stores the difference. Notice as well, that the condition is the absolute value of the difference between the target value and the element. That value should be less than the acceptable margin of difference, or delta. With doubles, we're looking for a close enough element to the target value. Look at how to set up a sequential search of a character within a string. Notice the boundary and condition. To access one character within a string, you can use the substring method that takes in two parameters, index and index plus one. We then use the dot equals method to compare that letter within the string to the target letter. Pause to observe the main differences when searching for specific elements within arrays, array lists, and strings. The equal equal operator is used when comparing primitive values. The dot equals is used when comparing values of object reference types. Here's a pro and con for linear or sequential searches. While linear search is a fairly easy algorithm to implement and understand, a linear search is limited by the number of elements that are being searched. The longer the data set is, the longer linear search takes, as it must iterate through all values in order to find the correct one. The 7.5 Daily Video 3 answers common questions related to searching algorithms. You should check it out.